Good afternoon everybody and welcome to our very first at home fit for fun session. And um, firstly, let's explain what this is all about. So um, firstly, everyone, thank you very much for doing a fantastic job of staying at home during this very, very important time. So important that we keep that up and in order to help you keep it up and in order to make sure you continue to do a great job of staying indoors, we're gonna bring you a fit for fun special at home in your own sitting room. So. Um, basically, what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to get two different things done. Firstly, we're going to do our stretch of the day. Very, very important that we keep stretching, that we keep our body mobile during this time, that we're not sitting around getting stuck on couches and turning into a couch potato. So, stretch of the day, we're going to nail that first. Once we get that done, and once our body is loose, we're going to move on to game number two. Game number two is a really fun game that we made up here this morning. We had a good thing about it, we made it up. And it's called the Sock in the Pot Challenge. So, during that game, you're gonna get a chance to challenge your coach in that game. You get a chance to try beat your coach. If you manage to, you get to be really, really mean to your coach. You get to look straight down the camera at your coach and you get to go, wah, 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 gotcha coach. However, when I beat you, and beat you, I will do, I'm gonna be the meanest coach in history and I'm gonna laugh right back at you, okay? Anyway, that's enough of the chit chat. We wanna get into our stretch, we wanna get into our game and we wanna get the action going. So, real simple. Stretch of the day, stretch one. The most important stretch of any stretch you are going to do, okay? Firstly, if you have any old pillows around your house, pillows, cushions, anything at all, I want you to get one of them right now. So if you need to pause the video, Run on over to the video, hit that pause button, and I will wait for you to get back. Okay, at this point, I take it we all have our pillow, I take it we all have our cushion, and I want you to set that cushion on the floor and get ready for our first stretch. So, as I said, first stretch is our hips. We're gonna be taking care of the hips here. Most important stretch, just a few little points before we get into this main stretch. So. The hip I'm stretching. I want you to put that knee down on the pillow for me. Once you've got that done, this back foot, I want you to make sure your foot runs straight in line with your leg. So it should look a little something like this from the back. Knee down, foot running straight. And from here, I want you to square the hip up, step forward with the leg and push your two hips forward. Okay, so let me just square up to the camera for you now. So it's knee on cushion, foot out, push your hips forward, and most importantly, in order to feel the stretch, your chest cannot drop down like this. You've gotta keep that chest high, shoulders back, and hold that stretch for me. Well done. So we're gonna hold that for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and the arm on that stretch side, pop it up in the air, and lean over. Very good, part two of our stretch. And hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Third part, the most hardest part of the stretch. Get ready for it. Front leg, take a big step forward. Two hands behind your head, and extra little push. Remember, my chest is not down, my shoulders are not forward, shoulders are back. And hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, relax it there now. Switch knees, opposite knee up on the cushion. Opposite leg goes forward, but before we push the hips into the stretch, make sure your knee and your foot are in a straight line. So, at the camera, you will not be able to see my back foot. If that foot is sticking out and it's visible, like it is there now, that stretch is wrong, I want you to straighten up. Step forward with the front leg and push two hips forward. Fantastic. Once you feel the pinch, hold it there. Part one. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One beautiful hand up, part two. Reaching over. Four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Excellent. Here we go. Part three. Big part of our stretch. You're stepping that little bit forward with the front leg. Chest stays up, shoulders stay back. Hands behind the head. And push. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, part one of our session done. It's our stretch of the day. We will repeat that at the end of the session. We have a busy main session to get through. We have a really cool game called our smelly socks in the pot drill. So, before we get set up for this game, before we get started, Again, I want you to press pause on your screen for now because you're going to run, you're going to collect yourself a pot from the kitchen, a pair of old smelly socks from your room, and most importantly, a pen and paper so you can write down your score and record your score. Okay, so press pause on that screen right now and go get your equipment. We'll be waiting for you when you get back. Okay, fantastic. So at this point, I take it everyone has their pot, everyone has their socks, and we're ready to go in the game. So, this is how we're going to set up the game, this is how the game works. You're going to get 10 shots at that pot. 10 shots to put the socks in the pot from a throw. So, after every shot, if you've made the shot, if you've thrown the socks and they land in the pot, you're going to mark on your sheet one point and give yourself one point for that score. Rules are simple. You get 10 shots, you win the challenge if you score seven or more. Anything less than seven or more, coach is the champ, you turn into today's big loser and I'll be the meanest coach in history and I will enjoy laughing at you. However, if you manage to hit that seven or you get more than your seven, you're today's champ and you get to laugh at your coach, all right? Now, last little message before we get going. It won't be that easy. Each shot will have a repetition of exercises that I will be taking you through. Every time you go to collect the socks from the pot, you will have a different type of movement you have to make to the pot in order to collect the socks. So, let's get set up, let's get going, and I'll talk you through each round. So. Take your pot and I want you to sit that on the floor in a nice visible position. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Once you've done that, I want you to take a massive four big steps backwards. One, two, three, four. Now, beautiful. You're nice distance now from the pot. Pot is visible. Once you complete the exercise system, you will have the socks ready to go and try to score them in our pot. All right? So, part one, we have our exercises to do. Keep your eyes on coach and I'll direct you through them from there, okay? So, exercise one, we're gonna get warmed up. So, starting out, I want everyone jogging on the spot. Jog, 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 excellent. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll the arms forward, brilliant. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Continue jogging and take the arms backwards. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Keep that jogging going. We're not stopping yet. Throw one is coming. Get ready. Pump the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and freeze. Throw one, shoot. Oh, bingo, nailed it. So, if you nailed the score, take your pen, take your sheet of paper. If you've scored, give yourself one point. If you've missed, mark down a zero for shot number one. Good job. Collect the socks and move back out. Exercise two, okay. For exercise two, what we're doing here is we're going to lift the warm up a little bit more. We're going to lift the body temperature and get it going. So, straight away, side to side bouncing. 
Left foot, onto the right foot. Beautiful. Keep bouncing for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. This time, right side, right hand going out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hand bouncing. Left foot to right foot. Left hand this time. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And freeze. Shot number two. Socks ready. Second shot. And shoot. Oh no! That's a miss. So, off you go. Take your pen. Take your paper for shot two. Mark down whether you've scored or missed. Give yourself that point. Or, if you're like me and you missed, give yourself that big zero, that big goose egg. Mark it down. Two shots done. Moving on to shot number three. So, pick up the socks, move back out. Boys and girls, for shot number three, we're going to be adding in our movements coming in and out to the pot. So we're going to lift the intensity here a little bit. We've our two warm-ups done. Now we're going to lift the heart rate that little bit more. Okay? So bear with me here. We left off with jumping jacks. So let's start out with them again. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down on the floor. Pumping your knees up into your chest. And go! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up! And finally, into our burpee challenge. We know you love them, your favorite one. Ready, five to do. Up in the air, legs out. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, and five. Boys and girls, Shot number three. Get your socks, stare down your pot, ready, and go. Oh, bingo, back in the scoring trail. So, we are three shots into our workout. Shot number three, and I'm able to mark down one point. So from my sheet, I can clearly see three shots in, and of the three shots, coach has managed to get two points so far. Good stuff. So, collect your socks, and on the way back out, we are straight into our first movement. So back out, before we get ready for our exercise, I want you to turn down in our frog position, and you're gonna be hopping all the way back out. Down like a frog, all the way out, turn, and get ready for shot number four, boys and girls. So. We left off with our burpees. First exercise, first position. We are straight into our burpees. Let's go, five to do. Up, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, and five. All right, break it down with our jumping jacks. Here we go. Four, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one of our high intensity set. Keep going, bear with me. Feet shoulder width apart. What you're doing now for me is you're sitting down, 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 and jump up. One. Down, 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 and jump up. Two. Okay, so our down. videos last about 15 minutes or so. That one just cut out on the third of our squat jumps. I hope you guys finished all five. And now we're into our fourth throw. So let's continue on. Fourth shot, study, shoot, bingo, nailed it. So, whoa, silly coach. On your way in, remember, we're in our frog jumps. Drop down and bounce. All the way in, click the socks and mark your score. So, shot four, we manage to score. We give ourselves one point. So that's four shots, that's three made, and we're on to shot number five. Frog position, and take it backwards this time. Hopping back out, all the way to the spot, and up. Now, 
Number five, we have all our high intensity work done. For number five, we're gonna slow things down and we're gonna get a little bit of exercises in and focus on the muscle group. So, part one, we're gonna work our legs. We just left off with our squat jumps. Now we're gonna take out the jump part and focus on the squat. So, what you're doing for me now, feet shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, chest high, and sit down. One, two, three, up, one done, down, two, three, up, two done, down, two, three, up, three left, down, two, three, up, two more, down, two, three, up, last one, down, two, three, and up, great stuff, lunges, this time, stepping forward, drop the knee, don't let it hit the floor, and back, drop the knee, don't let it hit the floor. Brilliant, switch legs again. Drop the knee, don't let it hit the floor. And drop the knee, fantastic. Two more each side. One, one, last one. Switch a leg, one, and one. Fantastic, on to our next shot. Ready, shot, bingo, we nailed it. So, whoa, forgetting our movement. This time, focus on the core. Hands in front, legs on the ground, and you're walking in, knee touching elbow. Knee touching elbow, all the way in. Fantastic, once you're in, grab the socks, and for number five, mark down your score. You're either giving yourself one point, or a big fat zero. Write it down, fantastic. Five shots in. Collect the socks, and you're walking back out, hands and feet. Don't let your knees hit the floor, hands and feet, and take it back. One, two, three, fantastic, up we get. Socks ready, this time we're working on the upper body. So, light upper body moves. First one, feet shoulder width apart, back straight, chest high. Take your two arms, push them all the way out to the side. What you're doing for me on my count is you're pressing back with the hands and pushing above your head. One, down, fantastic, up, two, down, brilliant, up, three, down, well done, up, four, and down, well done, up, five, and down, fantastic, nice little warm up one, real simple that one, let's pick it up a small bit, this time, Lying on your belly. Two arms out by your side, fingers facing forward. What you're doing now for me is I want you to lift them elbows off the ground, elbows up, and the same movement, pushing out. Back in, and down. So exact same as the last one, except our belly is on the floor, and we're really, really focused on pushing the shoulder blades back. Pushing back and up, fantastic, one done, down, up, out, two done, down, up, out, three done, and back, well done, up, out, four done, well done, last one, up, out, five done, fantastic stuff, up we get, on to our next shot, studying, focused, shot and we scored it fantastic again we're working the core knees not allowed in the ground hands and feet and you're walking into that pot crawling all the way fantastic gather the socks and most importantly record your score shot number six we scored that one so we give ourselves one more point fantastic so six shots in Five scored, great work so far. Take the socks, we're now making our way back, working the core again, back out, back out, back out, all the way, fantastic. This time, we're gonna work our abdominal area, our core area, which is all the muscles in around our stomach. So, what I want you doing for me now, lying on the ground, all the way back, and exercise number one. You're gonna lift your two feet slightly off the floor, 
and you are going to cycle just like you're riding your bike boys and girls push the legs in and out and continue for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 freeze two feet on the floor this time I want you to focus on your crunch. Not a full sit up now, just a crunch. Lift your shoulders off the ground, up and down. One, up and down. Two, up and down. Three, up and down. Four, up and down. Five, fantastic. Standing up. Ready for shot seven. Focus, shot. Bingo! Nailed it again! Oh yeah, we're on fire now! Grab that pen, grab that sheet, shot seven, and mark your score. One more point for Coach Kieran. Oh yes, beautiful. Okay, eight and nine. Now we're going to get you guys moving left and right. While we're moving left and right here, anytime you hear me say shot, that's your signal to shoot. So, you've plenty of practice shooting. There's no more me guiding you into the shot. Now it's going to be a reaction. So you're going to be moving left and right, back and forward. And anytime you hear me say shot, you instinctively are going to have to shoot. Be it you to the left or be it you're to the right. Wherever you're from, when you hear that word shot, that's your signal to shoot. Okay, so you can run back for these two. Running back, running back, running back. Okay. Getting ready for it. A little bit of movement going to happen here. So, first one, we'll keep it simple. Every time I say left, galloping left. Center, back to the center. Right, galloping right, back to the center. Ready for it? It's reaction time. Quick as you can. Left. Center. Left. Center. Right. Center. Forward. Forward, back, right, center, left, shot, oh, all right, got it, got it, got it, into collect, down in your frog again, and into our frog, hopping all the way in, fantastic, great job frogs, grab the socks, and mark your score, so shot number eight, I give myself one point because we got it, Fantastic, and we have a nice little score gathering. All right, second last shot, same as the last one. Focus and react as quickly as you can. Frog position, make your way back out. Look over your shoulder, very careful you don't crash. And hope you get. Fantastic, all right. Center, ready, right. position and hopping all the way in so oh shot number nine our second last one did not work out too well for me we missed that one so I take my pad shot number nine and I give myself a big zero which means nine shots in I've already scored seven so already we've managed to beat the coach challenge Shot number 10, last shot of the day, let's have some fun with it. Frog position, socks in hand, hopping back out. Once I'm out, standing, this time boys and girls. For this one, you're going to do what's called the Dizzy Dinosaur Challenge. So, every time I say hop, your job is to twist your body, jump in the air, and land facing the opposite way. So. Quick example here, keep your eye on coach, practice. Hop, 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 hop. As soon as I call shoot, you're gonna shoot no matter how dizzy you may get, okay? So get ready for it, feet in position, 
and ha, 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 sha. Whoa! We got it without falling over. Great job. Down in our frog and hopping in. All the way in. Fantastic. Take your board. Mark down your score, shot number 10, and I give myself one point, which means at the end of the session, after my 10 shots, I managed to score 8 out of 10. So here's my board, here's everything marked out, and as you can see, for every shot, we managed to get 8 out of 10. Great job, great shooting. All right, so as we said at the start, we will always finish off with our stretch of the day again. So, can we remember what that stretch was? That's right, it's the hip stretch. So, grab your cushion, any cushion you want. There's a beautiful pink one that my monkey was resting on. That's the laziest monkey in the planet, by the way. Do not end up like that monkey. He is very, very lazy. Monkey, bye bye. All right, grab your cushion, back into our hip stretch. Knee on the floor. Foot out in front, and push the two hips forward. Fantastic, and hold. Eight, seven, six, chest is back, remember. Four, three, two, one. Hands behind head, and big step. Excellent. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, all the way back in, switch legs. Opposite knee on the cushion, step out in front, making sure your back leg is so straight. Push the two hips forward, keep your chest high and your shoulders back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind your head. Big step forward now, right all the way out, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, boys and girls, give yourself a big round of applause, and congratulations on completing our sock in the pot challenge. Please remember, over these next few days, it's so important that you guys keep safe and keep everyone around you safe by staying indoors. What we're going to do is over these next few days to keep you entertained and to keep our fit for fun going and you get to work out with coach, you'll get to see coach each and every different day because we're going to make so many more videos with more cool games for you guys to keep you fit, strong and healthy at home. Stay safe everyone and we'll see you soon.